out of sight at this music festival is where a teenage boy was strip searched by a police officer. And it was all because a security guard wrongly suspected the 16 year old was dealing drugs. Turns out it was a detective who broke the law when he made no attempt to ensure a parent or guardian was present. If we didn't do the searches quickly, then they would be able to conceal any drugs on them. But how would he have done that if he was in front of you? It would be very difficult. The inquiry has previously heard the detective touched the teenager's testicles and rubbed his buttocks during the search. Did you feel under the underwear? No, I didn't feel it was appropriate. I could see in their underwear, I was satisfied enough. And when asked why no official record was made on a police database, the officer said, I'm kicking myself now, sir. Will police review their approach to strip searches given evidence of the inquiry by the state's police watchdog? Well, that's not for me to answer at this, uh, at this point in time. Tempers reached boiling point when it was revealed the inquiry was provided a sanitised version of official police records. It means the commission may have to examine new evidence and start from the beginning. Two days of hearings have already sparked calls for a review of police powers. To strip search someone is traumatising for uh, the subject of that strip search, particularly if they're children, so we want to make sure the balance is right. One officer has told the inquiry that a handbook on strip searches gave police very little guidance. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.